During the quarantine, many chess players have lost their condition and began to play mediocre chess. With one exception. Anish Jiri, almost the only elite chess player who managed to make progress. He tied the first place in Vekanzee with Jordan 1 Forest and successfully competed in the other rapid chess tournament. The Chinese, on the contrary, had no chess practice. As a result, Jiri outplayed him, as we say, due to his supremacy in chess skills. Hello, dear chess friends, and today I'd like to show you the game Jiri Wang Hao from the World Chess Candidates. It was d4, knight of 6, c4, e6, knight of 3, d5, g3. Jiri opts for Catalan. If you're playing Catalan, you have to know a lot of theory. Wang plays the most solid setup. It's well known, and uh, again, a lot of games have been played here. So after a6, black is going to play d5 to defend the pawn on c4. And there are two main options here for white. The first is capture on c4, queen takes c4, b5, queen c2, bishop b7. Though if black manages to play c5 in the proper moment, white has no advantage at all. And according to the theory, uh, this position is very close to equality. So black should be fine in this line. If white plays a4, then white has a bit more space. At least space advantage. So g plays a4, bishop d7. Queen takes c4, bishop c6, bishop f4. Or bishop g5, or is another option here. Well, bishop f4 is one of the main theoretical lines. So bishop d6, knight c3. Knight c3 is a good move. Since white is not objecting to the opening of the g file, and uh, to the improvement in the center. Well, the pawns on their file are doubled, uh, but uh, the g file is semi open now, and uh, white could organize attack on the black king, and also uh, white controls the center even more after g takes uh, f4. White controls the e5. E5. Where a5, uh, preparing knight a6, knight b4, a5 is a well known move here, and it's quite typical. e3, knight a6. Knight bd7 is also possible, and it was played in so Aronian. Queen b3, rook a6, rook a6 is tricky though. And after a couple of moves, uh, the position was still about equality, but Wesley managed to win uh, the game. So, one plays knight a6, knight e5, bishop takes g2, king takes g2, c6. And here comes the novelty, h3. Well, h3 looks like a reasonable move here, uh, preparing a shelter for the white's king on h2. And uh, maybe white will use the g-file in future. But, uh, well, as I said, h3 is, is a useful move. And uh, the, white's king, the white's king would be comfortable on h2. Queen b6. Played by Wang Hao, though I don't really like it. The best square for your for the queen is on e7, to my mind. And it would be better to play knight d5, knight e4, knight b4, rook d1, queen e7. Then black kicks off the knight by f6, rook d8, knight a5, e5. 
starting some counterplay in the center. So white has an extra pawn, but uh, black uh, has full compensation and counterplay in this position. This line is not mandatory, but uh, it sh it reveals um, some opportunities for black. So queen b6 is not the best, but of course it's not a mistake. Queen e2, defending the b2 pawn and um, keeping the c4 square for the knight. e5. One decided to cut the Gordian knot, but it seems a tad precacious here. So c5, uh, in fact, is a dubious move. It would be better to play knight b4, king h2, knight bd5. The black's position seems cramped, uh, but it's still solid and black has no weaknesses. Uh, rook f d1 is Jewish move. Queen b5 uh, looks like an active option. Uh, black takes on b5, takes on d4. And finally white is winning a pawn. Uh, but it may be uh, a temporary gain. Because uh, the c3 pawn is weak, black can attack it immediately after knight e4. Uh, still white is better, but uh, black's chances to draw is much higher than white's chances to win. Rook fd1, c takes d4. After rook fd8, queen b5 is rather unpleasant now. So black has to play queen c7 and white has some advantage. So c takes d4 is good, rook takes d4, rook a d8 is a good option again. And g takes on d8. Queen b5 is an alternative here again. Black takes on b5, takes on d4, plays knight c7. White grabs the a5 pawn and uh, white gets a rather pleasant ending where white is winning a pawn. Though the white's pawn structure is ruined, white has the doubled pawns on the b-file one of which is, is an extra pawn and the double pawns on the f-file too. So this ending is like, likely to be a draw. That's why g takes on d8. This is the best move. Queen takes d8 is a sad necessity. Uh, because after rook takes d8, queen b5 or looks like uh, winning a pawn. So black plays queen c7, knight c4. I take in the a5 pawn and uh, there is no way to defend it. So that's why queen takes d8, rook d1, queen a8. Well, queen a8 is a weird move, though it's an x-ray. Uh, but of course the position looks better for white now, definitely better. White has coordination, much more coordination than black. And uh, white is more active. White controls the d file too. He replayed king g1. Well, after queen a8, the first instinct, of course, is to defend your king. And king g1 um, is good, though king h2 looks more reasonable here because, uh, well, this square is more comfortable and white could use the g file. But as Vladimir Kramnik has noted, uh, Jiri tries to play in a solid style, and that's why he plays king g1. So he plays central chess. He plays on the d file. And he underlines this by playing king g1. Uh, knight b4. So there is no opportunity to fight for the open file for black again. After rook d8, white takes on d8, plays queen b5, attacking the a5 pawn, and white is definitely better, white wins material. h6, making a window here, is possible but passive. White plays rook d4, knight b5, and white is slightly better, uh, though h6 would be better than knight before played by Wang Hao. 
Queen b5. Threatening to play knight c4 again. Knight bd5. Knight takes d5. Knight takes d5. So uh, black closes the d file for white. Uh, but g finds a new file. So this c file is open here and that's why g takes it. Though knight c4 was possible too, but after knight c4, knight c4 black has to play b6, knight takes b6, takes, takes, rook c8, and uh, black has decent chances to draw this game, because the white's king is weak, it's exposed, and the pawn on b2, in fact, this extra pawn is not really strong here. That's why rook c1, h6, queen d7, Knight f6. Uh, black's position is rather unpleasant to play, and uh, Wang was in time trouble, and that's why he didn't find the best move. The best move here, instead of Knight f6, would be Knight b6, attacking the white pawns on the queen side. Queen d6, and here Queen d8 is quite tricky. It seems that white can win by playing knight f7, grabbing a pawn. King takes f7, so rook takes f7 doesn't work. Black has to defend the queen. If black takes on d6, then knight takes d6, and uh, white is winning a pawn. So king takes f7, rook c7 check, king g8, queen e6 check, king h7, queen takes b6, and uh, white is winning two pawns. Though after rook f7, white plays rook b takes b7, winning the third pawn, queen d1 check, king h2, of course not king g2, because after queen d5 check, uh, black is forking the king and the rook, so king h2, queen f3. It's a nice trick, rook takes f7, queen takes f2 with a perpetual, and black draws. So after queen d8, after black plays queen d8, knight takes f7 leads to a forced draw. Queen takes d8, uh, rook takes d8, rook c7, uh, looks quite logical. f6, rook takes b7, knight takes f4. And uh, white is slightly better here, still slightly better, but the position is quite drawish. So Wang played knight f6, not the best move. Queen d6 and g6. Uh, and g6, in fact, uh, is a mistake here. On press conference, Wang Hao highlighted uh, that he realized that g6 was a bad move, but uh, he couldn't find a move. And, well, in fact, it's not so easy to find the right move for Black, who is passive, who is quite passive here. And uh, at that time, Wang was in a severe time trouble. So he played g6, uh, weakening his king and his king side. Knight d5 is not working. Looks like knight d5 may be good, but white has f5, rook d8, and knight d7. It's really strong here. White attacks the e6 pawn, rook e8 takes, takes knight c5, and white is better. Uh, rook c8. Doesn't work either. After rook takes c8, queen takes a8, queen a7, white attacks the f7 pawn, and after queen f8, white grabs the pawn on b7, getting an almost winning position. Queen e8 would be the best after b3, b5, uh, trying to trade some pawns on the queen side. Knight c6 takes, takes, queen d7, and black uh, is close to equality here. White is still better, but really difficult to win such positions. So g6 was played, b3, uh, defending the a4 pawn just in case and improving the position. So h5, king h2. Finally, uh, the king finds his shelter on h2, prepared by the jury's novelty h3. And uh, well, jury is following a well-known chess principle, chess locution, do not hurry.
And maybe he was waiting for Wang's mistakes to King g7, Queen d4. A rather tempting opportunity to x-ray the black king on g7. Though Queen b6 could be stronger. Queen b6, knight d5, and Queen d4 only here. F6, knight d7, then white attacks the 6 pawn and wins it. White uh, has decent chances to win the game after knight d8. It was played queen d8, queen d4, rook d8, queen b2, queen b8. Uh, rook c4 doesn't look right because after rook c4 takes, takes, queen c8, white plays queen b6, and black loses the pawn on a5. So queen b8 was played before producing a second target. Uh, Jiri's play is quite consistent, but it allows an amazing opportunity for black. A takes before rook c4 and b3, played by bank. Though b3 is not, is not the best option. So the amazing opportunity I was mentioning is rook d1. Rook d1, rook takes b4 and queen d8 suddenly activating the piecing uh, and starting an counterplay against the white king. Rook takes b7, queen d5, rook takes f7, a black is sacrificing the pawns and the knight on f6, rook h1 check, king g3, and it looks like after rook g1, king h4, the white king is quite comfortable on h4. However, black should play Rook h3 check, sacrificing the whole rook. King takes h3, queen h1 check, king g3 h4 check. And only after these moves, black achieves a demanded draw. So it uh, was really hard to find all these tricky tactical opportunities for Wang. Almost impossible. The only option to find it was to find the best moves move by move but he played b3 rook b4 queen a7 and queen a7 is a final blunder there still was an option an option for a counter play queen d6 rook takes b3 queen d1 rook takes b7 rook d2 again black attacks the white king rook takes f7 king h6 but now White has an equally splendid idea, rook d7. So it's a cross pin. If black takes the rook, knight takes d7, then knight f7 check, queen goes to h8, checkmating the black king. After rook takes takes d7, white takes on d7, knight takes d7, queen h8, checkmates again. If black takes on b2, white takes on d1, and the final end game is better for white, who has an extra pawn and chances to win. But unfortunately, Wang Hao has played queen a7, rook takes b3, queen a4, and uh, there is no way to defend the position here. The pawn on f7 is crucial, and black loses it. Queen e8, rook a7. So there are many ways to win this position as white. And rook a7 is a good one. Of course, the question is whether rook f7 is working or not. Rook f7, queen takes f7, knight takes, king takes. Is it a fortress or not? And looks like it's not a fortress, but Jiri decided not to reveal it and not to question himself and play it rook a7. The idea is queen b7 and take the f7 pawn, then take the knight. Also, black has no moves, no improvements here. After rook d5, G played queen b7, knight e4, knight f7, and Wang Hao resigned. So white has decisive attack on the 7th rank, knight e5, knight g5, 
discover checks and then check mating ideas are coming here. So black is hopeless and resigns. This game resembles playing an amateur with a professional. The professional, of course, was Chiri and the amateur was Wang. Of course, they have different opportunities and Wang Kao is not spoiled by invitations to elite tournaments. After this victory, Jiri enters the race for the leadership and divides from the second till the fourth places with Fabi and MVL. And we should keep in mind that he is the most rapid skill gainer in the modern chess nowadays.